My old headphones was played out. I was extra excited when my latest cell phone featured some fancy earplugs that will go for about $100 by themselves in the box. I'm not sure what it is about my ears, but they seem to be incompatible with earplug style headphones. They never felt like they were inside correctly or would always fall out or wind up hurting my ear sockets after prolonged use. More irritatingly is the fact that along with my music, I heard every little hum and bump around me which ruined my listening experience, especially on airplanes on which I've spent a lot of my life. I soon gave up on my earplug style headphones and moved to like over the head headsets. When I first started using over the ear headsets, I remember saying to myself that I was falling back in love with music. It was a while since I was able to hear every nook and cranny of instruments and vocals or the crackle of record player created samples. However, the rumble from the engine of airplanes was still pretty loud and a pitiful excuse for padding on lower priced over the ear headphones that did nothing to combat this issue. I didn't know that that noise could be combated. I still could remember when I was first introduced to the idea of noise canceling. I remember snobs in first class making a big deal out of the Bose CQ, which stood for Quiet Comfort series headphones, and they were supposed to block the rumble of airplanes. I figured the pattern to do that was gonna be super thick like the headphones that people use at construction sites. To my surprise, the pattern was no thicker than most regular headphones, but the price of $349 for a pair of headphones seemed outrageous to me. But that price also made me curious about what actually they would do. I remember being on a hunt to sample every single brand of promoted ANC so I could see if this noise canceling feature could silence an airplane. All right, what is noise canceling? According to Wikipedia, active noise canceling, also known as noise cancellation or active noise reduction, is a method of reducing an unwanted sound by an addition of a second sound specifically designed to cancel the first. The concept was developed in the late 1930s. Later, developmental work that began in the 1950s eventually resulted in commercial airline headsets with the technology becoming available to everyone in the late 1980s. So what this tech is doing is listening to the outside noise of your ear and producing a negative version of that sound, which cancels out both sounds and leaves you in quietness. That's fancy tech, so no wonder it costs the arm and the leg. I began trying all of the company's versions of noise canceling headphones to see which would work best for my frequent travels. And what I found was the best noise canceling headphones was definitely coming from the Sony X series. Now the ones I have is the WH001-XM4, and they're called the Sony XM4s for short. The Sony XM5 just came out, but that gives you an excellent opportunity because I know all of the prices on the XM4s will be going down. This company and brand has perfected the formula for the perfect headphones for airplane engine noise, chatty passengers, flight attendants, annoying pilot announcements, and crying babies. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision when picking your next vacation. Now, when compared to the Bose QC series of noise canceling headphones, the silence is almost as good, but the clarity of your favorite songs will sound a lot better on the Sony XM4s. Now, something I find myself doing quite often is turning on a noise canceling feature and not playing any music at all, and the world becomes a much peaceful place instantly. None of the noise canceling headphones will put you in complete silence, but it will get you very close. You will still hear a lot of high pitch sounds when your music is off, but they will be muffled down and a lot easier to deal with. You'll know a baby is crying, but the baby screeching won't make the hairs on your neck stand up. Now to be sure that my money was well spent, every once in a while I'll pull one ear cup up. Immediately I'll purposely be corny while dropping it back down and saying to myself, yeah, best money I ever spent. It's even possible to hold your hand over the right ear cup and the ANC will cut off for as long as you keep your hand there. This is good when you want to hear an announcement or talk to someone face to face. I suggest you get a pair before you travel to any of these Caribbean islands that I'm going to put in the card above. Now how much are the Sony XM4 headphones? To make the Sony XM4 an even better option than other noise canceling brands, the Sony XM4s are actually cheaper than the Bose, MS, Surface, and Apple brands, which are all very premium versions of ANC headphones. And like I said, the XM5s just came out, so that's going to make the, the price of the XM4s drop tremendously. If you bought them from the link that I'm putting down below, that'll give me a cool kickback and I'll be able to continue to blog and vlog. Does the Sony Extra Bass have noise canceling? Right now, Sony has three major ANC headphones on the market. 
they could be classified as low tier, mid tier, and high tier. The low tier is the Sony WHCH series, and they have bare minimum noise canceling. Then the mid tier is the Sony 900N and the 910N series. And those are the ones that say it's extra bass on the box. And the highest tier is the one that I'm highlighting today, the WH001-XM4 series. And those are definitely the ones that I recommend to get the most out of noise canceling. All three of these headphones have noise canceling features. And you can tell by the price and which tier they are, how good the noise canceling feature will be. The Sony Extra Bass has noise canceling, but it will be their mid-tier experience. The best noise canceling on the market right now is the higher tier XM4s or the XM5s now that they've come out. How do you pair Sony noise canceling headphones? The biggest and coolest difference between the XM4s and Sony's earlier models like the XM3s and XM2s is the ability to connect to two devices at the same time. You can have your phone and your laptop paired without needing to go through the pairing process over and over again to change which device you want to listen to. The pairing process is extremely simple too. Either rub one of the ears of your headphones over the back of your NFC zone on your phone and that's the part of your phone that you use like when you do Apple Pay or Google Pay, and it'll connect instantly. If you don't wanna do it that way, just connect via Bluetooth like you do everything else. Hold down the connect button on your headphones until the lady in your ear says, pairing. If your phone is in searching status, it'll pick up your headphones quickly. They're using the latest in Bluetooth connection tech 5.0, and it makes connecting easier as well as staying connected. Now, are the Sony XM4s worth it? If you travel via airplane or even bus or train, these headphones will bring you complete peace while traveling. Your music will sound 73 times better. I just made that number up. But your music will be as clear as possible thanks to the absence of background noise combined with Sony's legendary brand of sound reproduction. And you'll actually feel your aggravation levels with public transportation going down. I'm sure there are a lot of reviews on the internet that really get technical and nerdy about all of the intricate specs. But I'm here to tell you that they work as well as possible when it comes to headset usage on an airplane. I really love when new technology makes me feel like I'm actually living in 2022. Why people are still charging gas for homes in 2022 really grinds my gear. This ain't 1963. All right, I digress. Anyway, back to my review. But yeah, now I'm sure the Sony XM5s probably has some great features that the XM4s can't do. But when it comes to saving probably $200, XM4s is definitely a good purchase. And the XM3s are actually a good purchase too if you don't mind losing a few more features. And these headsets look great. They don't have a lot of unsightly and unnecessary buttons and gadgets on them. I guess Sony said let's just add what it needs. In any color you choose, they actually look cooler than other brands of active noise canceling headphones out there. As of right now, the Sony WH001-XM4 I wonder who gave it this goofy name, are the best noise canceling headphones on the market, especially if you want to fly on airplanes. The XM4s are certainly the best headphones for airplane travel. You'll experience superior audio sound and comfort like a king, a passport king. Peace.